Well, howdy do, audience. I hope you're all having a fine, fine Wednesday. Those of you who checked out Tool's new album should be in at least somewhat of a good mood. There are, however, some people in the bully community who are not in such a good mood. Because as it turns out, all of the recent Bully 2 screenshots have been confirmed to be fake. I'm gonna do my best to quickly summarize all of the events because they do get a bit interesting. First off, you had a guy named Philippe Borgs using several sock accounts accounts on Reddit and Discord to spread various fake Bully 2 pause menu and in-game screenshots. The first one being the pause menu image that was sent to the Nathan and S a while back. So initially Philippe was using sock puppet accounts on Reddit and Discord to spread these images, but eventually he made the mistake of using one account with the same name as his Instagram profile. And thus, some people on r slash bully came across said profile and uh, they, they noticed a few things. One of the things they noticed is this image on his Instagram page showing you a similar monitor setup to the one featured in one of the pause menu photos. Some also noted that the profile picture Philippe has on Discord is that of a pug, and this pug can also be seen in one of the fake in-game screenshots. Upon being confronted about this, Philippe admitted privately to all of it being fake. Now, this is when things got kinda interesting. Philippe had been running a Bully2 Discord server ever since he started spreading spreading the fake leaks, and so I went on that Discord server letting people know that I think he should hand the server over to me, Nathan, and all of the other r slash bully2 moderators. I don't know about you, but to me it seems kinda pointless to have him, out of all people, control one of the places where people discuss bully2 leaks. Not only did Philippe immediately refuse to do this, but he even removed my admin role on the server, which, <laughs> as you would expect, caused uh, quite an uproar. Instant Instantaneously, people began hurling insults at him, and a few people even started spamming some, uh, very X-rated images. And at that point, I just went ahead and made my own Bully2 Discord server. And it seems like pretty much every person in Philippe's server has now jumped ship. If you want to join the official r slash Bully2 server, then you can find a link to it in the video info down below. It was also around this time that Philippe made this statement on Twitter. Sorry guys, it was all a concept made by me. It went too far. You know, it's kind of funny because I, I saw a bunch of people not only forgiving the guy, but also making comments like, hey man, thank you for being honest. So, <laughs> let me get this straight. Philippe lied to all of us for weeks. Thousands of people, including several gaming news sites, were deceived by this guy, and now that he's been exposed as a liar, not only does he make a bogus apology, obviously just trying to promote his social media pages, by the way, but he also has the nerve to tag a bunch of gaming news sites, hoping to get one last bit of attention. The dude is a lying scumbag, and the fact that people are patting him on the back and going, there, there, at least you're being honest, it, I don't know, it's it's almost laughable. You know, it's like, yeah, you repeatedly lied to me, used sock puppet accounts to mislead people, decided to lazily apologize when you could no longer get away with lying, even tried to use the apology as an opportunity to promote your own social media pages, and then made an attempt to selfishly cling on to the biggest Bully2 Discord server out there. But hey, at least you're being honest. There, there. Give me a f***ing break. He doesn't get any sympathy from me at all, and as far as I'm concerned, he should not be getting it from anyone else. Another fake leaker who got exposed was Lumija3. A bunch of people came across this Twitter profile when he uploaded what many believed was a screenshot of the Japanese version of Bully2. And as you can see, the map has been censored, and the avatar in the upper left corner has been changed. Now this is actually what led to this fake leak being disproven. Many suggested that this was probably a GTA Online character, but as it turns out, it's a custom character made in APB Reloaded. And after getting caught, Lumija3 made the following tweet. I don't know if it's real, but I hope it's real. Please, be careful not to be fooled again. After all, the level is different. There is no choice but to wait.
And finally, we have Robert Dockman, perhaps the douchiest one of the bunch. The Nathan and S actually did a really good debunking video of this, so I'm not gonna get into too much detail. Shortly following the fake Philippe leaks, the Robert Dockman Twitter account was created. Robert uploaded a series of photoshopped images, hinting at a Bully 2 release in July of 2020. Among these tweets, you also had claims of Jimmy Hopkins being in the game, snippets of what the storyline is gonna be like, and some fake Bully 2 loading screens, one of which led to Robert being exposed as a fraud. See you on August 26th. And no, nothing pertaining to Bully 2 happened on that day. Attached to this tweet, you have what appears to be an Ultra HD remake of Jimmy Hopkins. Scroll down a bit and you'll find a reply with one of the original images Robert used. And upon being found out, Robert did the typical thing internet douchebags do when they get caught lying. LOL, you're stupid. So now that we're all up to speed on fake Bully 2 leaks, let's talk about uh, an accidental fake Bully 2 leak. Let's take a trip down memory lane all the way back to 2017. As a lot of you remember, 2017 was the year Yon 2295 stated that Bully 2 is gonna be the next game to be released after Red Dead Redemption 2. We also saw some Bully 2 concept art, which actually recently was confirmed to be real by a former Rockstar Games developer. And finally, we had Bully 2, Kevin backjack. You know, I could summarize this one myself, like now, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna just go ahead and have 20 year old swag to fill you in on this one. So, take it away, younger and way more energetic me. In what could possibly be one of the biggest E3 2017 spoilers yet, a now removed listing on the Game Informer website points to a possible sequel to Bully. Dubbed Bully 2 Kevin's Backjack, it might just be a troll or a data entry error, but Game Informer often reveals new games on its monthly magazine covers. It also appears as though the ESRB rating is pending. Another interesting description is that the game will have support for two players. Game Informer would subsequently pull this from their website after being discovered by their Reddit. You might be seeing reports we have reported Bully 2 exists. This is an error. We have not heard anything about a sequel to Bully. So what happened to Bully 2 Kevin's backjack? Well, we now have this tweet by Imran Khan, a former senior editor at Game Informer. Do you know if the supposed Bully 2 leak from Game Informer two years ago had any truth to it? Oh, uh, that Kevin's backjack or whatever thing? No. It was Ben Reeves, I think, making a fake SKU for intern training. I am pretty sure he told the story on a giant bomb thing sometime. And to my surprise, yeah, Ben Reeves did talk about this on Giant Bomb. I'm honestly surprised that no one ever sent this to me or Nathan. If any of you actually did and I just didn't see it, then I don't know. Oops. But uh, yeah, let's have a look at that. Uh, Ben. Mmm, sugar. I want to talk about this. Mm. I like where this is going. Okay. Uh, there's been a lot of smoke on the street. Sure. There's been a lot of talk That's on the internet. Phrase. There's been a lot of smoke on the street uh, lately <laughs> about <laughs> Bully 2. Oh. Oh. I heard, I heard Game Informer the hot exclusive? had the hot yeah. exclusive leak mm. on yeah. uh, Bully 2 yeah. uh, with uh, with uh, Kevin's back, Jack. That's right. This is one of my favorite <laughs> things that has uh, happened. Uh, in, in Jack, one of my favorite Jack, weird, Jack, 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 goofy ass Jack, things Jack. that I've heard of in a, in a little sure. while. Tell me about how Game Informer had a page on its site called oh. Bully 2 <laughs> Kevin's back, Jack. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can give you a quick overview. We, uh, we have an internship <laughs> program at GameFormer, which I help run, and uh, we have internship training. So we set up a lot of stuff and we make jokes, you know, try to make it fun for the kids. Joke about a lot of stuff like Destiny 3, haha, -ha. oh, Half-Life 3, wouldn't that be funny if they made that? And one of the ones that we were like running through making a skew was Bully 2, yeah. which, you know, why not? There have been rumors. And yeah. we try to make these things sound ridiculous because like if they ever actually go online, we don't want people to think they're real, right? Of course. Because yeah. that would be stupid. That would, yeah, that would be <laughs> irresponsible. So, I think that's a fair point. But you know what else would be stupid and irresponsible? Not having some kind of system set up to prevent that from happening in the first place, you know? Ah. So I, I wrote Bully 2 Kevin's Back Jack. <laughs> oh, that damn Kevin. Thinking nobody would ever think it's real. We tried not to hit save or anything. I don't know what happened. I must have been drinking. <laughs> <You didn't> publish. <laughs> <But> yeah. <laughs> It was an intern training week. I think it was back in January. Fantastic. And somebody noticed it last week. So actually I didn't know it was on the site because 
I thought I hadn't saved it. Why would you? So yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I saved it and uh, went live, and then somebody picked it up. Uh, what's it been like since then, getting to the bottom of the Bully Two fiasco? <laughs> sure. Story? Yeah. Well, uh, I woke up one morning and <laughs> the internet was ablaze. So then, Game Informer had to kind of get out and say, like, we don't know about a Bully Two. <laughs> yeah, we just thought it would be good to like <laughs> clear the air and like set it official, like. Honestly, I don't know why people <laughs> thought it was real to be Hmm, yeah, hmm, why? Why? Let me, let me scratch my noggin and contemplate this under the tree of woe. Oh yeah, I got it. People thought that because Game Informer is, or, well, I should say was, a reputable source. <sighs> Alright, so there you have it. That's the end of Kevin's Backjack. <laughs> So, uh, audience, let me ask you this. What is the lesson we've learned here today? What I've learned is that even reputable sources can be just as unreliable as anonymous so-called leakers on Twitter and Reddit. Oh, and uh, speaking of unreliable sources, let's wrap up this video with something awesome. Some of you might be able to recall that one time in 2018 when Yon2295 called out Mr. Boss for the win on GTA forums. Yet again, take it away. Way younger me. Last month, when discussing the then-upcoming GTA 5 nightclub update, Yon2295, a trusted Rockstar leaker, was asked when said update would be coming out. To which Yon2295 said, I said the 24th, so it's the 24th. Gotta make it clear once and for all, especially so Mr. Boss can't say once again how he hates the cryptic messages and how confusing they are. Watch him show this post in his video, but with that part of it cut out, lol. If not, well, hi YouTube, you shouldn't be sub to Mr. Boss. And what did the Lord of GTA clickbait Mr. Boss for the win do in his umpteenth GTA 5 nightclub update video? Well, of course, he cut out the disparaging remark from Jan's statement. So about a week ago, Roger Clark, the very talented actor who played Arthur Morgan in Red Dead Redemption 2, had this to say on Twitter. Okay, so this is somebody asking Roger Clark about a possible Undead Nightmare 2 DLC for Red Dead 2 based on one of the character deaths in the game. Oh, for God's sake, you do know what happens at the end of RDR 2, right? Are you Mr. Boss for the win by any chance? Keep on fishing, bro. Isn't this just f***ing beautiful? Years and years of deception by Mr. Boss for the win, all culminating in his reputation being mocked by not just the Rockstar Games communities, but also Rockstar insiders and even actors employed by Rockstar. Mr. Clark, my beanie goes off to you, good sir. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give it a like, subscribe for more bully content, and as always, stay classy. Peace. I'm a bully. You made me one. I'm a bully. You better run. I'm a bully. You made me one. I'm a bully.